Hi, I'm Samantha House. Today we'll be exploring BlendSpace. It's a web app that can be used to create interactive task cards. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with BlendSpace. If you haven't signed up for BlendSpace yet, click, click Sign Up choose I'm a teacher, and then you can answer these quick questions about yourself. Once you're signed up and logged in, you can create your classes. Click Create Class and give it a name. Choose your grade level and click Create Class. You can see you have a class code. Just copy and paste it into Google Classroom. Ask students to go to blendspace.com, join with their Google username and password, and enter the class code. Then they'll be able to be in your class and see your lessons. To create a new lesson, click New Lesson. Enter the title here. For the first box, I usually like to include an introduction. Click Add Text. You can change your font options here. You can include an introduction to tell what the lesson is going to be about, a standard and an essential question, or whatever else you need to include. Then click Done. In the other boxes, you can include resources for students. To find additional resources for your BlendSpace task card, you can use the toolbar on the side. One really good feature is the Google search feature. You can type in what you are looking for and it will give you a list just like a Google search. For example, here's an article by National Geographic. I can hover over it and click preview. This allows me to look at the article before assigning it to students. If I like the article, I can click on it and drag and drop it into the task card. Where it says enter description or notes, you can click and type instructions for students. Then click Done. Here's a video. I can hover over it to preview it. Once you have reviewed it, you can drag and drop it into the task card. If you have a Google Doc that you would like for students to complete as part of the lesson, open a new tab and go to Google Drive. In Google Drive, search for the document. Once you find it, right-click it and choose Get Shareable Link. If you want students to be able to make their own copy of the resource, make sure it says anyone at Horry County Schools can view. Then you're going to change viewer to editor. Click copy link and then go back to BlendSpace. Back in BlendSpace, choose the link icon on the toolbar and paste your link. In the link where it says edit, highlight everything after that and change it to copy. This will force anyone who opens the document to make a copy. Then click search. It will bring up your document. Drag it into the box. You can then enter the instructions.
then click Done. If you want to end with a quiz, hover over the box and click Add Quiz. Type your question and your answer choices. To add another answer choice, click here. To add another question, click here. And when you're done, click Done. Students now have an easy way to know the order in which they should complete their assignments. When you're done, click Share. You can choose Collaborate to add a co-author. If you want your collaborative team to work on your task card with you, you can copy this link and paste it into an email to your collaborative team. They will then be able to edit the board. When you're done with the board, click Share. Click your classes, or you can click Google Classroom, and it will put your BlendSpace board in Google Classroom. BlendSpace also has a tremendous library of boards that have been created. To search for those, back on your dashboard, click Lesson Library, and you can search for a lesson. Once you find a lesson you like, click Copy. After you make a copy, you can then edit it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you don't miss out on our next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.